I'm going to start this video out by saying I'm a Jordan fan. For life. Is that for life? I don't know what the hell it means. But uh, best basketball player ever, Michael Jordan. Now, he doesn't have a tire named after him. Not that I know of, anyway. But uh, I normally don't get excited about tires, so this is a special video, Proline. And it's named after, I think, Kobe Bryant with the Black Mamba. This tire is the craziest tire you could imagine in use. What are you gonna use it for? I think just ripping through mud and sand and dirt on your scaler, your bomber, uh, whatever hex you wanna fit. But I just had to do a video on this because this doesn't even look like a tire in many ways. It looks like a, like a death frisbee or something like that. And Kobe has a tire named after him. Black Mamba Proline. I'm going to do a little video on how to put these together because I was kind of surprised there was no instructions. And these are directional. You've got a little uh, pattern that kind of do a V this way or that way. So you do have to pay attention. Something I'm not known for. Um, and then it comes with uh, two hex adapters. So you can go wide and narrow. So Interco Black Mambas. And the Vice Crush Lock, which is the bead lock you need for these tires if you want to install these bad boys on something. You need both of these from Proline. Quick little uh, how-to video just to show you how to line things and a little bit of tips of uh, getting all the holes lined up because bead locks can be a pain in the uh, old tuchus. So let's do a little video, just a quick showing the parts, little tips, get this baby installed on something and uh, I got excited about a tire. What, what's going on in the world? 2021. I don't know. Let's do it. I just showed you a quick little video of all the parts that come in the, the beadlock rims. So I want to go over something that uh, isn't pointed out in the instructions, which is fine. That's why we have videos, I guess. That's why we're here, right? Um, you basically get four parts. You have an inner ring, an outer ring, and the center ring that are all directional. So the easiest way to figure out the outer ring is the outer ring, the screw goes into it. So outer ring, very easy to find out. Inner ring to where the hex is gonna be, small holes. Uh, 1.5, this is going to be a tech tip in the future, but a 1.5 millimeter wrench fits in here. That's an alignment tool in tech terms. 1.5 millimeter wrench, pinion gear wrench, small enough, or whatever you have small enough to help you align, will save you time in the future. The center crush lock uh, is also directional. Easiest to see that this is the hex side because it keys in this way with the, whatever hub you're gonna use. So that'll snap in there after. You don't have to put those on now because you can decide if you want the, the wide wheelbase or the narrow after it's five screws and you can change it out. So it's kind of interchangeable, which is nice. But you, that's the inside hub. One that screws into, inside hub. Outside with the screw in it, outside hub. The next thing is, which I forgot to have the tires open, so gotta do it is that since the tires are directional, you gotta pay attention. You make it, you gotta make a left and a right, left and a right. If you uh, screw up, you'll have one tire backwards and you look like an idiot. I've done it before, it's been in magazines in the past where the tire direction is not the right way and you notice it after, oops. Uh, easy to fix if you like taking screws out. Another tech tip, I don't know if you watched my last videos, but I lost all my tips here. I found them all, much happier. This one does not key in, so it's gonna, it's a little loose. But this will save you time, energy. Uh, just remember is you can strip screws out. This has an electronic clutch. It's down to like two, three. Uh, but just pay attention at the end. They do crush together and you gotta watch and you gotta build it like you, I don't know if you ever changed a tire before, but you do want the star pattern to tighten things so you don't walk it around wrong. So 
That's an easy tip on the direction and the spacing of the tires. I'm gonna open the bag and then I'm gonna do a little quick uh, video to show you it being put together for fun. Not really that exciting, but uh, if you enjoy watching paint dry, uh, you'll enjoy this video of a tire being put together. Although this is more fun. I hate painting. All right, we got the tires out. Pretty sick, pretty rad. Huge lugs, I mean, craziness. Like I said before, never got excited about tires, but here we are, we're excited. First step, you can clean all this crap, but it's a beadlock, you know, Windex on the inside makes it smart. I already have two tires built. So I got these directional already. I could probably take my uh, ghetto stand out of there. Whoops, hey, it's not live, but I'm not gonna edit that out. Um, so I already have the left and right. You can see the tread pattern has an arrow. I'm doing them forward. You can obviously flip them around if you feel like you want that dig pattern. So just as long as you build two lefts and rights, you're gonna be happy. If you do uh, three lefts, you're not gonna be happy, trust me. So I already have these built. This one, gonna go this side, and I'm gonna build the right side uh, tire. Well, that's in the video, but I don't really care. Uh, inside again, so this is the inside pattern. So I got lined up, you got the keyed in for the, the, ax, the hub, the hex uh, adapter. Basically, you're just gonna jam this sucker in here. Nothing fancy, nothing pretty. Just jam it in. You may make it look fancier, but kind of move it around. Get in there, make sure you're not crushing the foam in there. There is foam in these. And you can see that it's gonna sit in the heck and the, the groove here to bead lock in. This is the bead, that's the sidewall. So we're in there, swimwear, and it will look pretty good. So remember, that's the inside key, so I'm building a right side tire. This will key in, this is the hex adapter, depending on your vehicle where you need the spacing. You can choose the, the narrow or the wide. They give you both in there, thank you Proline. Get the screws to do that. Again, the outside bead lock is easy to find out because if the screw goes in, it's the outside. This one doesn't go in. Inside bead lock, next to the, the hex. Outside. So what's gonna do is we're gonna key in through here and it's gonna crush by sucking in this side. Easy alignment tip, 1.5 millimeter wrench. Why 1.5? Because on the other side, you gotta go through to help you line stuff. The more 1.5 you have, the easier. I like to use a two just to get it started. Basically, you're just gonna go key them in. Make sure that's a, it's not a 1.5. Let's, uh, let's be smart here. Let's read the numbers. So 1.5, 1.5. So now you have two cross lined up. It's not that tricky, but you know, obviously you gotta be smarter than the tool here. Sometimes that's hard to be. And what you're gonna do is line it up like this. This gives you, now you have an alignment. It could, it could be off a little bit wiggling, but basically you got it in where it's supposed to go. Give it a little tug to make sure that you're in the bead lock, you're not pinching the sidewall. Same thing on the top, just wiggle it around. You're not screwing anything down yet, so just pay attention and get it kind of in there. And one screw in the side. You should be able to feel it snap in the back a little bit. Use your trusty drive here. You just need to get it started. Oop, that's more than started, that's almost crushed, but uh, it was a little easier than I thought. Go across the bead. Again, the little 1.5 is there to help you line stuff, make it way easier than monkey and a football reference here it falls out it's not a big deal eventually you could feel it snap and it starts to suck in which that did not do hmm. uh, you can always check the back side it should you should feel it snap again these little guides are not 100% aligned.
Yeah, I had to I had to fool around with that a little bit. I'm not really sure what my problem was. I just restarted and kind of like went through everything again. Again, use that as a basic alignment. Somehow I got it to snap in and I don't know if I was just dumb, which is a very good possibility. Again, I'm not trying to, to tighten these down on the first thing. I'm just trying to get it aligned and the bead lined up. So once you figure that out, and again, I did two before this and had zero problems. And of course, to be on camera, it's always gonna look bad, because that's what we are. And I'm just trying to, I wish this was a, had some variable throat or throttle there. Anybody wants to make a cordless uh, Makita with the speed control on it. But once you get it, it's pretty simple. Again, you were supposed to do a star pattern. You could also probably walk it around. Again, what you got to make sure you're doing is make sure that's on camera if you're doing video. Smart. You're just getting everything started. And then it's probably going to be hard to show, but in here, there's a little pointer. This is where the bead is. There's a gap. And basically, you're going to watch it, and you're just going to suck it in. Again, this has an electronic clutch that I set. I'm going to go back to two. It did work on most of them as it shut off. Once they get sucked down, just give it a... Half a twist to get a little tighter. You don't want to strip these out because once you strip them out, you're pretty much done. Obviously, these are reusable. I can't imagine that you're going to wear these down. But if you did, congratulations. You're my hero. I'd like to see some video of that. Just get them all tight. I think I was right on the three. Yeah. Just crazy tires, man. I don't know if you're in tires. Usually it's just a new pattern. You're like, oh, it's a square, it's a fuzzy, got some step pins. It looks like a VF Goodrich tire. These are just sick. And again, you got to make sure you do the direction. This is the right side. I'm going to build, see my hands? I'm going to build the other tire, the last one off camera, because I can't imagine anybody wants to watch four of these. I'm going to mount them up to, I'm going to find a rig to mount them up to just to see how they fit and then show the difference in width. But Black Mambas, Proline, Kobe, sorry man, I know you're great, but uh, I'm looking for the Jordan tires. Uh, they're the best of the era, but I'm not trying to make fun of Kobe. But uh, amazing tires. Build the fourth one, we're going to show what it looks like on a kit. We'll do a little frontal action here. You ever smell your tires? Makes your hands stink. Very distinct smells of rubber. I don't know if it's a good smell or a bad smell yet. I'm trying to figure that out, but I mean, you could definitely just smell compounds. You don't need the dots like scratch and stuff. What's that smell like? Swampy fish water. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna line up. And then uh, I'm gonna try to figure out where I'm gonna mud drag. And the only thing bad about that is Dirty cars, which is never fine. Let's get a car on the table. So we're done, bolted up. I uh, used the Element RC Gatekeeper as uh, my test rig for these. I, I, I look at them and I keep laughing because they're just so ridiculous. Redonkulous, we're gonna bring that word back. Redonkulous, that this thing looks so nuts. I mean, they're like saw blades. But sickness, like I, it's just so crazy. I don't know what Proline was doing that day that this was a great idea, but holy crap, thank you for doing the silly, the stupid, the insane. Mud tires, mud drags. Let's do this stuff. Let's, let's race in the mud and then uh, leave them there because I don't want to clean it afterwards. But 
uh, bam, those look hot. And this is the wide offset. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna have to watch is a full turn. First of all, this thing has too much articulation. That's nuts. Uh, so it doesn't hit anything. So if you got a body, you got to make sure that you have endpoint adjustments right or physical stops probably because this thing will tear you up. Uh, Black Mambas, you may have switched me. I think, Jordan, you're out. The Mamba, we're in. We're in. Proline, goes on a lot of stuff. You got a hex, slap these babies on it. I'm, I'm looking at my B6 over here. I think it might be better with uh, some, some butt tires. Let's do it. I'm not going to do that really. But... Uh, I did notice that I put them on backwards. I'm an idiot. So, remember all the stuff I just said in the beginning. Make sure you're paying attention. Just prove, proves me, proves me right. I'm an idiot. So, front ones are on backwards. I'm going to flip those. Still awesome looking, but uh, good job, Derek. See ya. And just so you know, I fixed them. Now they're the right way. Everything I just said, just repeat it and pretend the tires were the right way. Still sick.